Well, not that all. Okay, uh, this is the brand new Sony A9, and uh, we're here at the Wex Lens Show in London. Uh, it's a camera that uh, actually quite sits very much at the top of the pyramid of uh, our range. It's only just recently been announced, and this is the first time that we've managed to actually have this camera at an event like uh, the Lens Show. So, what's going on inside? So, it's got inbuilt stabilization that you find on our current range out of A7R and A7S Mark II but it's renowned this camera for its speed and accuracy so basically this camera can shoot at 20 frames per second raw uh, and buffers after 20, 241 shots in JPEG it's 365 now I've had a chance to test this out this week and actually it does exactly what it says on the, on, on the tin it really is fast and accurate uh, you'll see there's some new modals along the top of the camera as well uh, we've got high speed um, uh, medium and low we've also got bracketing but we've also got an external button that actually you can select AFS AFC etc um, brand new viewfinder is about three three million uh, dot resolution uh, so what you'll find with this is really clean um, and uh, it refreshes really fast uh, we now introduce touchscreen as well so I can now recompose with the camera where I'm looking and then use the joystick the new joystick on the back of the camera to move that around the screen we cover 93% of the sensor uh, sorry of the uh, of the camera so that the AF points which cover 693 phase detection points is really really quite you know in, in, in very impressive and if you look at our competitors alongside that it's you know nearly 10 times or five ten times uh, more points that you can actually cover so let's have a look what it looks like on the back of the screen. So what I've done here is I've set the camera up to AF continuous. Um, in the menu, I've selected wide, and I'm just gonna lock the focus button here, and you can see that it's refreshing about 60 to 120 frames per second, which is really fast. Now, depending on what, I've got the electronic shutter on, so you should hear a noise and that's shooting at 20 frames per second 24 megapixel as well um, mechanical that does drop down a little bit uh, but if I then because it's a mirrorless system and has no mechanical analog moving parts then the only way I know that this camera is shooting still at 20 frames per second in complete silent mode is the box and if you can see here around the box is actually flashing that's telling me that the camera is still shooting at 20 frames per second magnesium alloy body it's weather resistant so out in the rain it will um, perform very well um, this camera has the same form factor as our a7 range as well so it's just slightly heavier not much but in fact there's hardly any difference compared to the rest of the range for those high-end sports photographers that are working for agencies etc and there's a requirement to transfer data over LAN there is now a LAN yard, uh, LAN yard, a LAN uh, it, uh, port and it will transfer over FTP so this is primed ready to go for high-end professional sports action on the side we've now introduced dual SD card slots so you can back Edwards, come to reception please mark Edwards come to reception thank you so you can back up dual card SD card slot the bottom slot is for the new um, fast transfer read and write cards reading at 300 and writing at 299 and this is something that has been requested by a lot of people in the past and the joystick so I can recompose here and I can move the, the uh, focus point around as well so it's an absolute uh, fantastic camera I've been fortunate to try out Wi-Fi NFC as well so I can still control it with our uh, our uh, smart devices um, and it's uh, live here at the Wetlands Show.